what is up what is up what is up fs club new mazda guys so you guys know what that means make sure you guys spin the comment section below hashtag fs consoles anyways though we hit 357 likes on the new mod video yesterday guys let's try for 400 i know we can do this guys okay let's get to those new mods big ones today guys we got the class zerion 3000 series been waiting for that one we got animal broom gallows millennial farm shed pack bench drill and grill pack and man tgx semi truck pack stone pack platform for slim auto load so that was the new mods updates today guys we got cinderella 1117 stepping back 2020 and the mrf special low loader tls 39 so that is those right there let's go over them guys let's get to those new mods okay so there's new mods let's go over them real quick the big one let's start off really big remember guys also timestamps are below okay but anyways this is the class zerion 3000 series 27 slots 330,200 and boy these are beautiful <laughs> wow all right let's actually put up the help window so we can see what we got here let's enter the vehicle okay there it is right there uh, let's see map size horn toggle steering mode we got all wheel steering front wheel crab steering left crab steering right back to all wheel and then let's see change driving control Woo, look at this we're going up and then whoop back down <laughs> back up back down <laughs> okay let's turn on the engine we can actually get rid of this real quick nice little engine sound okay lights well beacons okay let's turn these lights on does the dashboard all light up yes it does okay turn signals is there any turn signal? oh yeah there they are Okay, there's a turn signal, that turn signal. Okay, very nice tractor. Top speed is 34 miles an hour. Let's see how fast we can get to 34. Wow, this thing moves. Yeah. Easy to control. I like this one right here. Okay, let's park this and then we'll go over it. Hopefully I don't run into something. There's some beefy tires on here. Okay, let's turn that off. Where can you find these? Let's go over here. Let's go under large tractors. All the way at the very end. There it is right there. Base is 379 horsepower. Let's see options. Rim color, you got red, white, gray, black, or chrome. Design, you got either chrome grid or black grid. Main color, you got green, black, white, orange, red, or blue. Uh, configurations, you have standard. You have weight, and then back to standard. Standard, let's see, you have Trailborg, Michelin, Midas, or Nokian. Trailborg, you have 6585 R38s. Ooh, air, wow, that's definitely something different. Uh, 65, 650 85 R38 air. The 701070 70 R42s. Uh, the wide tires, twin wheels, narrow tires, narrow twin wheels, and then back to the R35s. Uh, let's see, Michelin 38s. I think it's all the same on here. Yeah, it is. Uh, Midas, yes, pretty much all the same, except for no narrow twin narrows at all. Uh, track, yeah, they have track or track VC. Uh, let's see, you got 1800 kilogram front weight, 2200 kilogram front weight, 2600 kilogram front weight, and then front attacher. Uh, engine setup, you got the 330. 3300 sorry which is 335 the 3800 which is 379 and that is it on that one side you have standard eu or that's it as you guys can see right there so that is the xerion 3000 class really really nice mod right there okay the next one guys and this is animal broom four slots 350 dollars and of course you put this on front of a tractor and you can clean up your animal area i really missed the lily we need the lily back on here Okay, but where can you find this? Let's go over to here. Let's go under animals. All the way at the very end. There it is right there. Options on that. There is no options on that one. Okay, so there's that one. Next one, guys. This is Gallows. Two slots, $1,200. You guys are probably wondering, what is this? Okay, what you do is you get a telehandler. Hook that up. And you can hook it up to a trailer so you can move trailers in the yard. So, pretty nice. Where can you find this one, though? Let's go under telehandlers. 
and there it is right there options on that there is no options okay so really nice too okay then this one right here this is the main tgx semi truck pack 51 slots $175,000 as you guys can see there's different options on that a lot of different options actually uh, let's turn on the help window let's enter vehicle let's see you got cameras which is the regular one uh, rotate crane right Ooh, so you can actually move that back and forth that's pretty cool uh, let's see start engine horn and that is it on that here is the inside let's turn it on nice sounds everything all lights up hear the turn signals yep it's bad that those lights on top can't turn on though dang okay top speed of 51 miles an hour it's a pretty nice little truck right here there's the back right there takes a minute to get to speed oh i just seen those see those lights in the back right there Look at that. I like that. That's the fans moving. This is a really nice model right here. Okay. Let's park this thing real quick. Okay. Where can you find these? Let's go over here. Let's go under trucks. All the way at the very end. There it is right there. Options on this. You got rim color, any color you can think of. Design color, any color you can think of. And main color, any color you can think of. Configurations. You have standard. You have trailer hitch, so it adds a hitch to the back. You have swap body. And then back to standard. Will brand, you have lizard, Nokian. Lizard, you have six by twos, six by fours, and then six by sixes. Nokian, six by two, six by fours, or six by sixes. Roof color, without. Black, man, man red, man old green, man beige, Tatra, brown, blue one, blue two, blue three, green. See, there is tons. You can have a pink if you want to. Look at all those colors right there. Jeez. We can go on forever on this. <laughs> uh, sun sh shield. You have yes or no, well, small, big, or no. Engine set up 500 PS, which is 500 horsepower. 640, which is 640. 880, which is 880. So go up to 880, and you guys can see it actually adds that back right there. So pretty cool. Uh, extra mirrors, no or yes. Uh, extra parts without horns, extra protection uh, with all. Uh, let's see, sun shield color. You have black, man, red. I believe this thing goes through all those colors again on here. If you had the sun shield up, let's put it on real quick. So as you guys can see, all the colors on that. Roof bar, no, yes. Uh, light uh, glass gray, uh, blue, and then back to no. You have bull bar, no or yes, or light gra uh, glass gray, blue. There's a lot of options on this one. You have mirror caps, default, or chrome, or plastic, or color change. And that is it on that one. There is a lot of options for this one right here. Okay. For the next mod, guys, we're going to have to go to the store real quick. Not that one, not that one, not that one. There we go right there. And it is this this trailer right here. This right here is a platform for slimp autoload. Four slots, $9,500. Really, really nice right here. This truck isn't, isn't part of it. This is just a regular other mod. But the trailer is right there. Okay, what can you do with this trailer? So let's turn this on. Okay, as you guys can see, I have a bunch of lime right there, right? Watch this. You can actually put it on the trailer. See how it's actually filling it up? What you guys can't see, I'm going to try to fill this up and see what happens. See? Look at that. Put it on the trailer. How cool is that? That is awesome. Everybody's been wanting an autoloader. So we pretty much have an auto loader. Uh, let's refill. So we'll we'll do we'll do two of these and see what happens. Okay, and I don't think you can use a forklift with it if I'm not mistaken. You know what? Let's get a forklift real quick and see what happens. Um, let's get here we go. Just get the monitor real quick. Oops. Okay, let's get that real quick. Let's get in there. See, I don't think you can remove them like that. It'd be nice if you could, though, right? Okay, so let's go over here. Okay, 
I mean, if you can, that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah, see, that, that thing didn't even move. <laughs> yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't even get underneath it. So, yeah. But I believe to unload, all you gotta do is drop off container. Unload here. Oh. Okay. I wasn't expecting it to do that, though. Hmm. Okay, it's still nice nonetheless. You can sit there and fill that up and then refill a tanker or something like that. Okay, so where can you find this one? Let's go over here. Let's go under, I believe it's under trailers, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there it is right there. Holds up to 40,000. Uh, options on that. Main color, any color you can think of. And then you got fertilizer, lime, seeds, pig food, and then back to fertilizer. So, there's that right there. Okay. Let me turn this off real quick. Let's go back to the farm. Okay, let me know which one was your guys' favorite mod out of all of these mods. Let's get to those placeables. Okay, so the placeables for today, guys. We got the Millennial Farm Shed Pack, which is this one, this one, and this one right there. It is 8 to 61 slots. The 61 being the bigger one right there. Uh, let's see. It is $225,000 all the way up to $250,000. Okay, let's take a look in here. Let's open the door. Let's put on the help window. Okay. Is this going to work? Is this going to work? Please tell me it's going to work. Lights on. Light on. Light on. Light on. Okay, now door. That's the thing about it. Main door. Oh, he got it to work. He got it to work. Yay. He just had to switch the, uh, the buttons. Yes. That works. Okay, now I just found my new favorite sheds though, because these are amazing sheds right here. Okay, open that door. Yes, I am so glad that he got that to work. Okay. Open that door. I like the lights that come in on here. Okay, lights should be somewhere. Is this the lights? Yes, one and two. Yep, they all work. Open that up. So all those work. Let's go to the main one. Here's here's the real question right here. Does the main one work? So open that. Okay. So see how close we are to it? Let's see. Yep. It all works. Open that one. Open that one. That is so awesome. And open that one. Okay. So these are now working. Let's turn the lights all on here. One and two. Yeah, look how bright it gets. Okay, so these now work, guys. Where can you find these? Make sure you guys go over to here. Let's go under sheds. And then there it is right there. And options on that, you can 300 degree rotation on those. Even on that one. Really, really nice pack right here. I am so glad this came out. I love these sheds right here. Okay, let's get to the next one, guys. Where is it at? This little bitty thing right here. This one right here is the Bench Drill and Grill Pack. One slot, $200 all the way up to $600. Just some decorations right here. Can you actually move that one? No, you can't. I think you can move the barbecue pit, though. Yep. But you can't throw it. Okay. Anyways, where can you find these ones? Let's go under decorations. Uh, and then there they are right there. I believe these have do have 300 degree rotation. Yes, they do. Same with that one. Okay, so there's those. The last mod for today, guys. This is the Stone Pack. Five slots, $100 all the way up to $700. As you guys can see, there's different size rocks and, yeah, configurations for them. Really nice right there. Uh, decorations. All the way at the very end there, they are right there. See, there's seven different ones. And when you're placing them, you can... Can you rotate them? Yes, you can rotate them. How close can you? You can get pretty close. You see, they can actually move, too. So I'm wondering if you can actually get a tractor and move them. You know what? We're going to try it. Let, let's try the class tractor and see if we can move it. Coming through. Love this tractor. We're just going to plow right into them. Jump out. Oh, yep. Hey, we can play some bowling. <laughs> okay. So there's those right there. Okay, guys, we did get some updates. Let's go over those updates real quick. Okay, the first update for today, guys, was for Cinderella 1117, and there is no changelog on that at all, so I don't know what it actually changed. 
uh, but there is that one. Next one, change log for stepping back 2020. Change log, sawmill fixed. BGA manure system ready, which that's only for uh, PC. Uh, horse extension, which that's only for PC. They buy silo late land trade. They fix the map border, fix splines, water plane fixed, streets and sidewalks and walls edited, uh, tip coil and seasons mass fix, uh, tree fix, helper fix, terrain fix, uh, bark mulch added to the point of sale, and new small cow and pig tree. Pigsty, sorry. So that looks really good right there. Next one, the last update for today, guys. Here we go. This one, let's see. Game freeze fix. That was it on that one. Okay, so there are the new mods and updates for today. Okay guys, so those are the new mods and updates for today, guys. Let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite mod for today. My, this would be a hard one. At the class Zerion, definitely, but it's really close with those sheds. I really do like those sheds. But anyways, guys, that is everything for today. The schedule, guys, after this, at 8 p.m. tonight, guys, we will be doing a live stream, so make sure you guys do join us for that. Like always, guys, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't said, make sure you guys do. Like always, have an all-state farmers. Peace!